This is Hero887, your host, welcoming you to day 68 of the countdown to Shadow of War. Middle Earth Shadow of War is coming out on October 10th. That is 68 days from today. This is day 68 of a total of, of 70. If you haven't watched the other episodes, go back, check out the playlist, subscribe to that channel, my channel, or this playlist to check out the other ones. If you haven't already, each episode we begin with a little tidbit, a little side tip, a little easter egg, a little something something about Shadow of War. And this time we're continuing the theme of different orcs and ranks for those orcs and last few episodes we reviewed Destroyer, Commander, and today we're talking about the Assassin. The Assassin has to be one of the most, I don't know in my opinion, loved because I love assassins and sneaking and killing people. Uh, okay, in games, mind you. I'm not a serial killer. All right, so the assassin, who is he? What is he? What can he do? He is a lethal... Lethal? i me try that again. He's a lethal killer who prefers to ambush his enemies and strike them down quickly. In addition to his awesome title and probably his awesome get awesome threads, I'm just thinking it's got to look pretty awesome on this dude with a mask. Uh, so it's just, I'm just thinking he's got to look pretty sweet. With those awesome threads, in addition, he comes with agility. Or I should, I'm sorry, my mistake. He is agile. He has an ability called No Chance. And he has something called Throwing Knives. Now those sounds like some pretty awesome abilities to have in addition to being a lethal killer. A lethal killer? I can't say that word. Words today, having trouble. Anyway, sorry. What do you think, subscribers and viewers out there today, what does it mean to be agile? What could that look like in an orc, or an uruk in this case? What would it mean to have no chance? Could it be that when you were downed, that he gives you no mercy, and he just slays you without the ability for a last chance move? Which we haven't yet seen in this gameplay, but let me just tell, tell you, it's a, it's a lifesaver at times. And throwing knives. I don't know about you, but throwing knives is something that's hard to dodge, and I would really hate that. So those are a few things. What do you think that it means? Comment below on your thoughts about the assassin. Without further ado, let's jump into some gameplay. And we're going to go ahead and change the skin up this time just for the sake of changing things up. Again, comment below your favorite skin and I will consider it for probably the future episodes. So we're going to go with the Dark Lord. Or I'm sorry, the um what's he called? I totally just spaced the Power of Shadow. And he's not the Dark Lord, that's more like Sauron. Continue the story. Is it just me, or does he look like Anakin when he was going to the dark side of the Force? You know, with the the red eyes. Anakin, you were a brother to me. Why did you betray me? <laughs> Sorry, it's my horrible rendition, imitation of Anakin and his beloved trainer Obi Wan Kenobi. Don't try it, Anakin! And then he jumps and gets his legs cut off. That was such a sad... Sad thing. Had to happen, though. Alright, now, so, back to where we're at. Um, story mode progression. There's a couple we could go to. We have an interested party, because we've attracted the attention of Golem, if you recall from the previous episode. If you haven't, go back, check it out in the playlist. You can do so. This one's much further away, and I'm thinking I'm going to wait. Spirit of Mordor... We'll hold off on that one. Now, each of these have their own towers, which we're going to discover along the way, but I'm going to go see if I can mark that. And let's run to it. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series so far. I know I have, and look at this awesome skin. What I love about this dude is his thinking claws. Yeah, we're going to have fun with this skin today. Very awesome. I'm I'm digging it. Digging it. I'm dugging it. Let's move my microphone a little bit here. Alright, so. 400 and some feet away. That looks like some scary gate action over there. Not gay action. Please get, I'm so, get your head out of the gutter, viewers. I said gate. Gate action, alright? Alright, so. There's some Urix around, and we're going to be careful. Because we don't want to draw their attention unwittingly. Alright, here he is. So Golem, we've attracted his attention. That can't be good. 
After all, he's a sneaky little booger. And we're gonna see what he wants. Hides in the shadows, I wonder. Something of great power has left its mark on him. I sense it. And you feel he has answers? For both of us. We should find them then. It shouldn't be too difficult. I thought Golem was really difficult to find, and they're saying they can they've got this in the bag. Well, with Wraith These abilities. Are not quite human. Not quite beast. Even more reason to investigate. Alright, so let's investigate, shall we? Looks like we're gonna have to go save this dude, free his slave. Run up and execute. Oh, I missed? I'm gonna parry you, hit you in the face. Slash you. Executed. Never gets old. The chain of man seems to always end in shackles. So we're gonna try to save some more slaves along the way. It's always good. Looks like a few up here. I sense it knows more of me than I know of myself. How could a rodent possibly know of a wraith? It is somehow connected to me. I feel it. Oh, there's an archer up there. Thank you, Golem. He's always got the best routes, this little sneaky booger. He knows his way around. Mordor. Stealth kill. That's a new skill we acquired. Already making good use of it. And let's go ahead and make some more good use by... Wow! That was epic! Did you see that? That was fantastic! He did an awesome flip a um, What was it? Off of this. Off of that. Flips around. And nails the dude. No remorse. That was great. Oh! We've got friends! Uh, I mean, he has friends. They're not friends of mine. We've got company. Oh, not your lucky day, pal. And we're going to go ahead and ground execute you and parry you and then grab your booger. Boom, boom, shank a few times and then interrogate your head. Okay, let's see if we can gain some intel. This is a new feature, which I'm excited to try out. There's somebody we're going to meet later in the game, Ratbag the Coward. Let's find out who this dude is over here. Rush. The Amputator. Now that is one nasty looking blade there, dude. Let me just tell you. <laughs> Don't want to get hit by that. Oh, through the face. And backhand slash head cut off. I am in your debt. All right, back to the mission on hand. We just like freed a bunch of slaves there. You hear that? I just think I saw something. Nope, you didn't see anything, boys. Just a little wraith running around your camp behind enemy lines. The runs tracks lead us right into that catagor cave. Well, that nasty yeah, runt. On the run. He's been sleeping with the caragors. Enter wraith world. Oh my, look at all these tracks everywhere. I'm going to go up here because I know it's up here already. We find ourselves a little trinket of goodiness. I have played this like two times through. What manner of spell is this? A loss Italian. Waking the beasties. Boom! <laughs> I 
That was pretty sweet slow motion action. So now we found a little bit of interesting lore about the elf. And here comes a fight. What we're going to do is... Try to take as many as we can out with um, some of the uh, nice elf shot prepared right here for us. Come on, give me some more. Oh no, I hate these spears. Fortunately, that Caragor is going to take care of that dude over there. I'm going to chop that dude's head in half and then in, and then half again. Oh no, oh no, Caragors are nothing to mess with. Oh, okay. Tell you what, that Karagor almost took my carcass to the uh, cave there. He will remember precious. We will make him. Please, please, please. We must have it back. We must have it. Quiet. I love Golem's Quiet, bipolar personalities. Brings back so many good memories watching Lord of the Rings as a millennial. So easily, eh? Great time to live. What does he know of it? Bright master. Yes, we know us. Bright master came to us in our dreams. I wouldn't want to have dreams of him. Talk about nightmares. Awesome, so we've gained an ally in Golem. We kind of know how that ended for Frodo. Loss of a finger. But nonetheless, we are half Wraith. Uh, that's a surely one up on a Hobbit. So Golem is the pathetic creature we all know about him. He was once Smeagol and now is no longer so, which brings his bipolar personalities out because he had contacted the rings. Powers had gotten a weird second. I don't know. Psychotic self. Let's go to upgrades here so we can ability point unlock. And how would I unlock this? Power level. That's how, okay. So we're going to save this ability point because I don't really foresee any other than running. That might be kind of nice to go faster. Um, but for now, we're going to leave it be and uh, rank up some of our power. And move on to the next mission. We do have some time here to move on to the next one, I think. It is 2,000 feet away, though. Talk about a distance. Let's see if we can't fast travel. Ooh, that is some distance. Let's go ahead and fast travel there to this tower at least. Speed up things a little bit for us. And we're going to see if we can't go to this next mission. And I don't foresee us having enough opportunity to do so, at least in this episode. So perhaps on the way, we can stop over here and defeat this Ashgam the Crusher. Okay. Let's see if we can't do that to see what will happen here. He's only about 500 or so feet away. Uh, let's pick a fight and see if we can't get some of our power boosties. Little slide action going down there. Undun crossing. Oh, I just smashed a spider with my feet. I thought I had to slash him. That was sick. All right, so this is gonna be one of our power plays here to try to get some power and unlock some abilities. I know I said that that we're pretty much gonna be working strictly on moving along with the storyline, but 
why don't we just have a little mix it up here with Ashgam the Crusher. Looking pretty bad with his dudes. Might want some eye drops though. He's looking pretty uh red eyed. So this dude can grab me by the throat. Uh, heavy attack. He can summon more to join the fight. That's no good. And his group of followers. He can be hit by. Oh, and he's damaged by explosions. So that could be helpful. Because there's a barrel of explosion. Right here. Or not. Alright, we're gonna just. Hit him from behind like this, like it's... There we go. Not bad. He hasn't even said anything yet. Okay, here he goes. Took out half his health. We're going to see if we can't finish these guys off in four minutes. He climbed up here without his posse. What friends? You don't have any right now, bro. Okay, we're just going to grab you, sucker. Shank you a few times. And uh, off goes your neck. Off goes your head. Mission complete. And we even got an epic rune. Excuse me. I'm trying to get a rune here, boys. Back off, you fools. We just got 18 power, and um, I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to run away like a fool because look at all these dudes. There's all of his friends. That was a really easy kill of that captain. I do want to gain that guy's intel, but there's just kind of no way. We're going to move on. Move on like a coward. See? It's all about knowing when to run. It's all about knowing when to hide, when to strike, and when to press your advantage in winning these fights. And uh, hey, look, here is an old um, tower we can unlock. That'll be nice. That'll come in handy for the future. Shall we not go up there and climb it? Unlock ourselves a tower. This will enable us to do some more fast travel, which is always fantastic. Let's forge that sucker. All right. This tower, the elven stones luminous as if they were cast from light. It's luminous. Luminous indeed. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, sidekick subscribers, I hope you enjoyed. That was a fun episode. We killed a couple of war chiefs, didn't we? Something. No, we killed the. We, we found Golem and then we killed the war chief. And we got a rune. Let's see if we can't take a look at that rune. Uh huh. Okay, okay. We'll have to unlock that later. Runes. Was it for the bow? Was it for the sword? I think it was for the sword, wasn't it? Never surrender. Mm. Maybe it was for the dagger. Yep, yeah, there it is. Okay, so recover 10 health when you stealth drain or stealth brand. Well, in that case, it's not very good, so we're going to leave that one off. But it was pretty cool. We got an epic rune off of that kill, since we didn't even really try hard for it. Well, as we start this episode, do leave a comment below what you think about the assassin, who's the lethal killer, who prefers to ambush enemies and strike them down quickly. Again, those abilities are agile, no chance. Throwing knives, leave a comment below what you think that could be. Speculate with us. Comment, I'd love to hear uh, what you got to say about that. And as always, do if you appreciated this video, leave a like on this video and subscribe for more daily content of Shadow of Mordor, anticipation of the Shadow of War, Shadow of Mordor 2, if you will. It's going to be fantastic. Look at my shadow. Do you see that way down there? The interesting thing is this wraith doesn't have. That's pretty cool. This Wraith doesn't have a cape, so it's really reflecting his real self. Isn't that fascinating? So, you learn something every day. Look in my eyes, suffer me now, and subscribe. Hero87 signing off. Later, dudes.